inshallah ta'ala in this video i would like to very swiftly touch on 10 common mistakes made whilst reading surah al-fatiha assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear brothers and sisters in islam surah al-fatiha is considered a very important and from the opening integrals of a salah of prayer we read it regularly on a daily basis in every single prayer and this integral you have to bear in mind that if one were to make a mistake whilst reading it and if the mistake were to lead to the meaning being distorted that would render the surah al-fatiha as invalid and in turn would render the entire salah the entire prayer as being invalid may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our prayers we put in a lot of effort to pray and we hope and we pray that our prayers be accepted accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for that, we must ensure that we fulfill the rights of prayer, the rights of reading Surah Al-Fatiha. And that's why it is important for us as believers to work on improving our recitation of the Noble Quran, starting off with Surah Al-Fatiha. So inshallah ta'ala in this video, I would like to very swiftly touch on 10 common mistakes made whilst reading Surah Al-Fatiha. Common mistake number one. In the ayah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, people tend to read it as Bismillahir Rahmanur Rahim, which is a mistake. There is a kasra under the noon, and the right way to read it, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and not Bismillahir Rahmanur Rahim. Mistake number two, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. In that ayah, people tend to read it at times as Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen as in they they go on to put a sukoon on top of the dal in Alhamd whilst there's no sukoon there it's actually a dhamma where you make the do sound so the right way to read it Alhamdu Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen the wrong way that some people tend to read it Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen which needs to be corrected mistake number three now Maliki Yawmiddin. Some people tend to read it again with a sukun. Malik Yawmiddin. You know, so much to the extent that at times even they are not able to notice it. Malik Yawmiddin. Almost sounds as if they're reading it the right way. But then if you observe carefully and very, you know, in a vigilant way, you will observe that they're making a, a subtle sukun where they would read Malik Yawmiddin. So the right way to read it, Maliki Yawmiddin. And some people also tend to drag the word Maliki unnecessarily, where they will say Maliki Yawmiddin, which is also not right. The right way to read it, Maliki Yawmiddin. Mistake number four. And now this is an important ayah. And we tend to notice a lot of people making this mistake. The ayah that needs to be read as Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka. You know the word Iyaka. There's a shadda. So there's this layer of emphasis. Iyaka, Iyaka. But people tend to read it very loosely. They read it as Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasta'in, which entirely distorts the meaning. It changes the meaning from the right meaning, which is Ya Allah, you alone. We worship and you alone we seek help. It changes it from that to, O oh sunlight, we worship you. O oh sunlight, we seek help from you. So this is, this is something very serious and we need to work on correcting this mistake for those who are making this mistake. Moving on to common mistake number five. If you take the ayah, People tend to make a mistake where they read it as, so saratal, that's wrong. The right way to read it is with a kasra over the letter sad. Ihdina siratal. And then the ra too, some people tend to read it as ihdina sira, sira, flat mouth. Whereas it needs to be read round mouth. Ihdina siratal. Ihdina siratal. Common mistake number six in the ayah, alladhina. People tend to read it with a Z sound, Allah Zina Z, whilst the right way to read it, because the letter there is the letter Dal, you need to read it Allah Zina, Allah Zina. And another mistake that people tend to make is with the word Allah Zina and 
an'amta, they tend to join the two words unnecessarily when reading and they read it uh, like reading one word. The right way to read it, so basically, first hamza and then ain. The next mistake, the next common mistake that people tend to make is with the word al So, al They tend to confuse the letter ghain with the letter ain. So they tend to read it غير المعضوب which is wrong. The right way to read it غير المغضوب غير المغضوب And then the word ضوب المغضوب the part ضوب they tend to read it as لوب at times or دوب with a dal or a lam whilst the right way to read it is with the letter ضاد So غير المغضوب عليهم and the last mistake towards the end of the surah that people tend to make is with the word walad. So there, at times it is read as walad with a dal or walat with a ta. The right way to read it because it's a dad. Walad, walad, So. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. So as you can see, there are common mistakes that we tend to make when reading Surah Al-Fatiha. And given that Surah Al-Fatiha is an integral, it is upon us. It's a work in progress, and it is upon us to improve our recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين